next adventure begins with a flight from DFW Airport. Here we go. The weather was perfect as we settle in for our flight to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We arrive just as the sun sets, we get to see all the lights. We stay overnight and then we get a nice view of the outside. Frizzle wants to go for a swim, but there's no time. We are about to board the new Staten Dom to begin our sea journey to the Bahamas. Frizzle is excited. Our cabin has a balcony. So we settled in to await our voyage. Frizzle has found his spot on the bed. Not sure where Dan will sleep. Time for a nap for Frizzle. He has a lot of activities ahead. This is the life. Off we go. Frizzle and I start the day in the word and meditation on God's wonderful creation. We arrive at our first port, Half Moon Key, formerly known as Little San Salvador Island. We had to board a tender boat to ferry across to this private island. Frizzle can't contain his excitement. He sees a pirate ship. Frizzle wants to be a pirate so badly. We arrive in port and spend some time in the visitor's area. We are surrounded by reggae music. I couldn't resist getting a shot of this gorgeous hibiscus flower. The beach was amazing, white sand and clear blue water. We spent a leisurely day on the private beach. The flora was abundant and thriving. The pirate ship turned out to be a restaurant. But don't worry, Frizzle, we'll find some pirates. Soon we were back on the tender boat, headed to our ship. It was quite a choppy ride. Poor Frizzle, he still hasn't gotten his sea legs. Another perfect sunset to a perfect day. We got to hear the masterworks of Mozart with this amazing quartet. Later, we attended the Step One Dance Company's performance of Humanity. It was amazing. The next day was a day at sea where we could relax and catch a few activities. Oh. 
There were music performances. And presentations and about the Bahamas. Isn't that great? You have dolphins in the Gulf of Mexico. They're dying at unusually high rates. There's, there's a decline in the local sperm whale population. And baby sea turtles have been found washed up with plastic in their digestive tracts. Now it's difficult to predict exactly what would happen if any one species does disappear. There is even a floral arranging class. Off to shore we went on another tender boat. We were scheduled for a tour of the island. Frizzle seems to really get into this island life. We got to view the blowholes where seawater rushes through openings in the rocky shore, creating a blowhole effect. I feel like someone is looking over my shoulder. This guy seems to be having the time of his life parasailing. No, Frizzle, squirrels aren't allowed to parasail. Yes, that is a very big propeller. Our tour guide took us to the east end of Grand Cayman Island, where the wreck of the Tin Sail Memorial is. In 1794, 10 merchant ships ran aground off the coral reef just off the coast during a heavy storm. The inhabitants of the island risked their lives to rescue the crew members. One of the rescued was a son of King George III. To show his gratitude to the people of Cayman Islands, he declared the islands should be free from taxes forever. A stone monument was erected for each of the ten lost ships. The ground isn't volcanic as it looks, but rather limestone that has been eroded with seawater and biological erosion. Time for a well-deserved meal after hiking around this island. Frizzle is extra hungry. I can't think of a better view for our lunch. When we return to the ship and back in our cabin, Frizzle discovers they left a folded towel animal. He was very upset. He wants to be the cutest animal in the room. Don't worry, Frizzle. Sleep tight. You're still the cutest. Off to our next port. We were treated to a great performance of Seven Worlds, One Planet by this amazing quartet. The next day we arrived at Ocho Rios, Jamaica. Time to disembark. We were greeted by these Jamaican dancers. Our first excursion was the Dunn's Fall. We were surrounded by a lush rainforest and a friendly black cat. Time to jump in and try to climb the falls. 
This natural water slide was the most fun I had in years. After we dried off, it was time for Dolphin Cove. Oh no, we better watch out. Time for Frizzle and myself to relax a bit on the beach. Later, I made a few new friends. I stopped at the zoo where there were macaws, an iguana, and guests could feed the birds. This little guy had a missing leg. Poor guy. Frizzle loves dancing to the music. What a great, amazing place to be. Frizzle, are you caught in the vines? <laughs> Too soon, it was time to go back to the ship. We were greeted by another perfect sunset. The seas were a bit choppy, as you can see by the water in the pool. But mostly, it was a beautiful, peaceful evening. The next day was a much needed relaxing day at sea. I confess, I didn't do much. Off we were on a tender boat again to Balmoral Island off the coast of Nassau. This is a private island owned by the cruise lines. Hardly anyone was on the beach. It was the perfect place for some quiet time. I hope Frizzle remembered to put on sunscreen. I had lots of inquiries for free food. I could stay here forever. But the real highlight was swimming with the dolphins. It was the most amazing time. Thank you, Van, for posing with us for these pictures. Too soon, it was back to the ship. Yikes, I think the pirates found us. Goodbye, NASA. I will miss you. Well, this rounded off our trip as we headed back for Fort Lauderdale and then on to home. It was an unforgettable time that I will cherish forever. Thank you for watching and sharing this time with Dan and I and Frizzle.